Tonight at UFC 285, we see the return of one of the arguably greatest mixed martial artists of all time, John Jones. He's moving up to heavyweight, he's finally back, and he's fighting Ciro Gon for the vacant heavyweight title. Now before we see what action goes down tonight, we're going to check it out on EA Sports UFC 4. Let's go. Alright folks, here we go. John Jones, Ciro Gon, heavyweight title. And again, this is a uh, AI sim, I, this is hands-free, so... Oh, wow. Early, early drop. I don't know if that was a slip for, for Jones or not, but... Uh, this is a super intriguing fight because obviously Gon is one of the most talented strikers and he's like that new age of heavyweight where it's not just big boys throwing bombs. He's technically super sound. Obviously, John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, great everywhere, but he's been out of the, the cage for, oh, nice spinning head kick. Out of the cage for a long time and he's moving up to heavyweight. You know, we've seen training videos of him looking maybe a little thicker, but uh, nobody really knows. You know, his last couple of fights to land heavyweight were super disappointing. Dominic Reyes and... Okay, one, two from Jones. Nice. Dominic Reyes and Tiago Santos both wins, but controversial wins. So this is this is fun. This is one of the few times where I don't think a lot of people know what's going to happen. Like, usually, you know, you get the main events and you're like, oh, this guy's better here. He's going to win. But, like, who knows what John Jones is going to look like in heavyweight. I wish they would do something here. That's funny because Gon keeps doing that little oblique kick. But that's, you know, John Jones was the one who made that special. Early takedown... Early slam. There we go. Oh, he's got him hurt early. Now, that's one thing you got to comment on. Because remember, Ciro gone. Oh, he's, he's mounting him. Oh, he's going for the crucifix. No, okay. Uh, if you remember his last fights, Francis Ngannou, who had one good ACL. He was working with a terrible knee. I wrestled Ciro gone for 25 minutes. Now, uh, Francis, great fighter, but not a wrestler. John Jones, a much better wrestler. So, is that going to be a strategy? Maybe. We're, again, who knows? We're going to have to see. Excellent top position here for Jones, though. Gone looking a little... Look, he's getting drowned down here, to be honest. But he's trying to get up, and he's not going to get up. This this may be the whole three minutes of this round. See if Jones can work a submission here. I can't believe it. You know, John Jones fight week. You know, this, this never gets old, and you never know when it can just disappear for years. Okay. Okay, let's see. Early submission attempt for Gone off his back. I think Jones might get out of this one though. How crazy would that be? Oh, he's he's transitioned to an arm bar. Oh my God, Gone! Are you? Can you believe this? Is this Charles Oliveira? Oh, this is gonna be close. He's got him! Oh my God! Ciro Gone just submitted John Jones. I swear to God, I was not expecting that one. Not only did he submit him, he started with a triangle attempt off his back. Transitioned to the arm bar. And Jones tapped. Oh my god. Could you imagine if that happened in real life? You see some replays here? So Jones absolutely slammed him down. Dumped him on his ass. Controlled him for a minute or so. And then gone slipped up a little triangle. Transitioned to the arm bar. And Jones couldn't want his arm snapped. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Wow. Well, if you want my official prediction, it's not going to be that. <laughs> I can't believe that. Gone has been training. He made that comment where he only trains when he has a fight, not when he's uh, out of camp there. But you're all gone. Can you believe that? Submits John Jones. All right, folks. Well, I wouldn't put all your money on that. But uh, according to EA Sports UFC 4, that's what's going to happen. Also on the card, co main event, Valentina Shevchenko is defending her flyweight belt against Alexa Grasso. I, I, I mean, anytime Valentina fights, it's a good time. This will be interesting though. If you remember her last time out against Talio Santos, she struggled. She only won via split decision and she was dominated on the ground. And that was the first time I kind of questioned her, her fight IQ because she was obviously second best in that fight at the, the grappling. I mean, Santos had the, a bigger size and, and stronger, but she kept engaging almost like it was affecting her mental, like she wanted to prove something. But uh, we all know Valentina is one of the best ever. Alexa Grasso's had a pretty impressive run here, but uh, if you want my opinion, Valentina's probably gonna roll through her. But hey, listen, what happened in the last fight? <laughs> Gone just submitted a, a, a John Jones, so who knows what could happen here. Oh, nice one too from Grasso. Again, super talented fighter, really great on her feet. Valentina might be a little better, a little quicker, a little more, a little more powerful. We don't know, we'll have to see, but... Uh, this is an interesting fight because for once, oh, there's a quick takedown into, nope, I thought she was going to a submission, but she's north-south now, back into side control, trying to mount, okay, this is not good for Grasso, 
I was gonna talk about Aaron Blanchfield and how there's actually like a number one contender. Valentina's been rolling through this division for years. This is her, I think, seventh title defense. She's gonna complete all the rubies on the belt. That would be pretty cool. But uh, Blanchfield, super good grappler who just submitted on Draj. Winner gets her. And uh, I think a lot of people wanna see Valentina face a, a legit challenge like she did her last time out. And no offense to Alexa Grasso, but it seems like if Valentina's maybe a bit weak anywhere, it's it's on the ground. Again, very, very small margins, but it's pretty good for Grasso getting up. It's been a, a good year for Mexican fighters so far. Obviously, Brendan Moreno taking out uh, Figgy for the fourth and final time <laughs> in their fights. And then, of course, Yair Rodriguez, just the last pay-per-view, becoming the interim featherweight champ. So Grasso's trying to make a 3 for 3 for the uh, Mexican fighters. Valentina, again, just mauls her to the ground. Oh, okay, look at Grasso go. Okay, okay, gotta give her more credit. Some terrible AI striking. It looks about right. Valentina's wearing it a lot worse here. Oh, nice flying knee. Okay, Grasso, okay, a little spin kick to the midsection. I don't know what she's Valentina's doing. She's trying to do all the spin, but she's leading with it. Like that's look at that. Okay, that was nice. Oh, slip. It's a slip, not a knockdown. It's a slip. Lead uppercut. Interesting. Oh, again another slip. I but what, what the heck was that? There we go. Some good striking from the two of them here. Landing their shots. Valentina appears to be a little bit more tired, which is something we've never seen. Oh, okay, she got ate a kick, but she used that right into a takedown. This looks like a similar position from our last fight. <laughs> See what Valentina can do. Oh, Grasso, taking her back. No way. And now she's in mount, okay. What can Valentina do? What can Grasso do from the top here? A little bit of ground and pound. Here we go. She postured up. Valentina's blocking a few of them. Missed on that one. She's gassed now. Let's see if Valentina can flip this around. She's got to hold her. Tries to get her off. No luck, but gets her out of full mount. Now Valentina's kind of stuck down there. This is super surprising. I didn't think Grasso would have the uh, wrestling advantage, but beauty of a fight. Grasso go. This has been a couple, almost two minutes of, of top control here. Back in the side control. Valentina's trying to turn. Feet on the hips. Nope. Couldn't get it. I think she's stealing this round. I, I don't think. I know she's stealing this round. Oh, back into top mount. More ground and pound. Valentina tries to shake her off. No luck. Again, no luck on that. I think Grasso's just happy riding this out for the next 20 seconds here. Land in a few shots. Nothing to really hurt Valentina, but just enough to put some doubt in her mind. Like, hey, I'm no slouch on the ground. Side control. Okay, solid round. Grasso surprised the heck out of me. Let's get to round two. All right, round two. No touch of gloves. Okay, interesting. Valentina coming out fire and Grasso returns fire. Oh, land clean there for Valentina. Oh, Grasso with the combo and a slip. Again, Valentina is not wearing these punches very well. Fly knee again. The knee's been landing. Oh, Valentina with a takedown attempt from far out. Okay, nice combo from Valentina. Another one. Oh, slips the head kick behind. Little Robert Whitaker. Okay, in the clinch now. Nope, not for long. Valentina again trying these takedowns. What is going on? She's trying these takedowns from so far out. Chair's creaking. And now they're going to stand there. Oh, okay. Oh, again. Oh, a slip uppercut. Oh, and a knee. Grasso's got her down. Okay, oh my god. What is going on? Grasso's better everywhere. 
That was a nice slip. Lead uppercut followed by the knee. Ankle pick, Valentina. No dice. That uppercut is landing like crazy. You usually don't see anybody lead with the uppercut because it's just easy to slip and come over the top. But down there, so, excuse me, Grass was having some success with it. Back in the clinch, not for long. It's like she wants to engage in the clinch just to land a big shot and then push her away. Again, the lead uppercut. It's because Valentina keeps going for a grappling exchange just so far out. Grasso can read it and then slip the uppercut in there. Again, lead uppercut. It's landing. It's money. If she doesn't make an adjustment, she's going to end up asleep. Shout out to Grasso for that. Good blocks. There we go. Superman punch, no dice. Oh, nice jab. Oh, and flipped her on her back. Okay. Oh, right back up for Grasso, though. Spinning back fist blocked. I'm going to see some more of those lead uppercuts from Grasso. Superman punch. No good. Again, there's a good one. Oh, a nice little question mark kick. Yo, there are some nice combos by both these fighters. This is good. Oh, spinning wheel kick. Gets through right to the body. It's right on the gun tattoo like a target. Oh, double high kick. Oh, and drops her with a right hook. Jeez. That's crazy. Valentina from way out. Stuffed. Russell throws her away. Beats up the leg. Jab to the midsection. Okay. Valentina's like doing too much, it seems like. But she's landing now. Okay, good exchanges. Not much in the way of grappling. Almost spoke too soon in this round. Tell you what, Valentina's a lot more tired and she gets dropped for a third time. Oh my gosh. But Grasso's kind of gone away with that lead uppercut. I don't know why. So much success. Put her on her ass twice. Double knee. There it is again. Okay, Valentina kind of caught that one a little bit. Oh, spinning side kick. Down. There was no spin in that kick. I don't know why I said that. Can she finish this fight right here? No. Oh, whoa. A little break dancing for Valentina to get out of it. That's f I think she's been knocked down four times this round, though. This might be a 10 8. It's only round two out of five, but if this goes to the uh, third round, Valentina might need to finish already. I don't know. Oh, Grasso. I need to see that replay. That was quick. Like a quick little one-two. Right in the button. Dropped her and ended her night. So before this video, I would have said John Jones and Valentina for both both be the winners. And uh, the beauty of fighting, this game says you're wrong. Let's see what they go. Oh, caught her. Did she even land that? It was just a return jab, it almost looked like. Just caught her with her hands down. Going for a little leg kick. And we have another Mexican champion. Despite this, again, if I was a betting man, I would put money on Jones and Valentina. But if these happened, it would not surprise me. So uh, tonight, watch the fights. Make your picks in the comments if you want. Tell me who you think is going to win. And uh, we'll compare afterwards. Thanks.